Hey everyone, we all know that Microsoft Azure has established a global standard for its certifications. Microsoft Azure has been delivering not only one of the greatest cloud platforms, but also some of the highest skilled individuals in the cloud sector, thanks to its role-based certifications. And one such certification is Azure Administrator Associate. The certificate will help you take your career to a new height, and therefore, we welcome you to a new video of Simply Learn on Azure Administrator Associate. In this video, I will take you through its various important factors that you need to know before proceeding with this certification. So without further ado, let's get started. But before moving any further, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and do hit the bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. So let us first see what all topics that we are going to cover in this video. First, we will explore the basics and understand what Azure certifications are. Then we will explore what Azure Administrator Certificate is about. After which, we will look into who can take this certification. Then we will see what all syllabus we need to cover on to appear for this examination. After that, we will explore how to apply for this certification. Later on, we will discuss some tips and tricks required for this examination preparation. And then we will look into some of the practice questions for your better understanding. And in the end, we will see what will companies hire as your administrators. So let's first understand what Azure certification is. Aspirants who wants to manage, upgrade and establish applications and networking routes over the global channel can get a specialization in cloud computing with the Microsoft Azure certification. Microsoft Azure is well known and respected around the world as the most trustworthy cloud provider. As a result, folks who have earned a Microsoft certification have a plethora of options to choose from. Now that we know what Azure certification is, let's move on to the explanation of what Azure Administrator Associate certification is about. Azure administrators are in charge of cloud storage, security, networking, and compute services. The Microsoft Azure Administrator Associate Certification is a role-based certification that verifies a professional's competence to implement, manage, and maintain Microsoft Azure systems, including major compute services, storage, network, and security services. Now let's have a look at who all can apply for this examination. Candidate must have at least six months of hands-on experience administering Azure and a solid understanding of key Azure services in order to take this certification. Along with that, one should also have experience in PowerShell, Azure CLI, Azure Portal, and Azure Resource Management templates. Now let's dive deeper into this and explore what syllabus are required to appear for this examination. First is Manage Azure Identities and Governance. Now this topic covers 15 to 20% of the examination. Then comes Implement and Manage Storage. This topic also covers 15 to 20% of the examination. After that, we have Deploy and Manage Azure Company Resources. This covers 20 to 25% of the examination. Then we have Configure and Manage Virtual Networking. This covers 25 to 30 percent of the examination. And then we have Monitor and Backup Azure Resources, which covers 10 to 15 percent of the examination. Now let's have a look at how to apply for this examination. Now the details you need to focus on are the cost of the examination is. 165 USD and its annual salary is $107,683. The duration of this examination is 120 minutes and the number of question varies between 40 to 60. The types of question can be either multiple choice or multiple response and the passing score to ace this examination is 70% with the renewal time 
of two years. Now that we have covered all the technical details needed to appear for this examination, let's have a look at some of the important tips for the preparation of this examination. First is, check Microsoft Official AZ-104 exam page. You should review the official AZ-104 exam detail page on the Microsoft website before beginning your preparation. This is Microsoft's most reliable page for sharing the most up-to-date and accurate exam inf information. Second is, understand the exam topics. Each exam has its own set of modules and weights. As a result, it's critical to thoroughly comprehend the revised AZ-104 exam objectives. If you have a good understanding of each domain and module, you can prepare successfully for the exam. This act will assist you in maintaining a higher level of concentration on the modules that have a high weightage in the exam. Third is online training, resources and reference books. Online training is one of the simple and convenient training techniques that can help you prepare for the exam. You will study the topics of the exam modules from industry experts through online training classes. You can also pay for customized instructor-led instruction from any other training provider to prepare for exam goals. But this can be costly. Also, you can seek help from books like Microsoft Azure Administrator Exam Reference AZ-103 book that is a part of exam re reference series. Fourth, we have study groups and online discussion forums. Joining study groups and discussion forums for exam preparation should be the first step in your preparation. Joining study groups and discussion forums gives you the opportunity to network with other Azure administrators and exam candidates. On forums, you may get answers to your concerns and have your issues fixed. As a result, it's critical to participate in some Azure discussion groups. And at last, but not the least, the fifth one is practice with simulators and mock exams. You can improve your confidence and have everything set for your AZ-104 exam in this final phase when you feel you have covered all of your bases in terms of resources and preparation steps, you should focus on getting some good simulators. These AZ-104 test simulators are meant to simulate a real exam setting. You can use the simulator to identify your skills and weaknesses so that you can work on them. Now, let's have a look at some of the practice questions for your better understanding of this examination. So the first question is, you have an Azure subscription named Subscription 1 that contains an Azure Log Analytics workspace named Workspace 1. You need to view the error events from a table named Event. Which query should you run in the Workspace 1? And the options are, get event where event type equal equal error. Option B, search in event error. Option C, select from event where event type equal equal error. And D, search in event where event type is equal error. And the correct answer is option B. Now moving on to the next question, you have an Azure subscription named subscription 1. Subscription 1 contains the resource groups in the following table. RG1 has a web app named web app 1. Web app 1 is located in West Europe. You move web app to RG2. What is the effect of the move? And the options are the app service plan for web app 1 remains in the West Europe. Policy 2 applies to web app 1. Option B, the app service plan for web app 1 moves to North Europe. Policy 2 applies to web app 1. Option C, the app service plan for web app 1 remains in the West Europe. And policy 1 applies to web app 1. And option D, the web app service plan for web app 1 moves to North Europe. Policy 1 applies to web app 1. And the correct answer is option A. If the source and target plans are in the same resource group and geographical region, you can migrate an app to another app service plan.
Now the app service plan in which your app runs determines the region in which it runs. You cannot however change the location of an app service plan. So now coming on to the next question. You have an Azure subscription linked to an Azure Active Directory tenant. The tenant includes a user account named user1. You need to ensure that user1 can assign a policy to the tenant root management group. What should you do? And the options are Assign the owner role for the Azure subscription to user1 and then modify the default conditional access policies. Option B Assign the owner role for the Azure subscription to user1 and then instruct user1 to configure access management for Azure resources. Option C. Assign the global administrator role to user1 and then instruct user1 to configure access management for Azure resources. And option D. Create a new management group and delegate user1 as the owner of the new management. And the correct answer is B. Now let's move on to the next question. You need to ensure that an Azure Active Directory user named admin1 is assigned the required role to enable traffic analytics for an Azure subscription. Now the solution is you assign the owner role at the subscription level to admin1. Does this meet the goal? And the option is either yes or no. And the correct answer is yes. Your account must meet one of the following to enable traffic analytics. So your account must have any one of the following as your roles at the subscription scope. Owner, contributor, reader or network contributor. Now the next question is, you have an Azure subscription. Users access the resources in the subscription from either home or from customer sites. From home, users must establish a point to site VPN to access the Azure resources. The users on the customer sites access the Azure resources by using site-to-site -site VPNs. So you have a line of business app named App1 that runs on several Azure virtual machines. The virtual machines run Windows Server 2016. So you need to ensure that the connections to App1 are spread across all the virtual machines. So what are the two possible Azure services that you can use? And the options are A an internal load balancer, B, a public load balancer, C, an Azure Content Delivery Networks or CDN, option D, traffic manager, and option E, an Azure Application Gateway. And the correct answer is A and E. Network traffic from the VPN Gateway is routed to the cloud application through an internal load balancer. The load balancer is located in the front end subnet of the application. Now let's have a look at the companies that hire Azure Administrator Associate. Excellent, NCR Corporation, Cognizant, Bosch, Microsoft and Yahoo are some of the great companies that hire Azure Administrator with great amount of packages and good amount of salary. Well, this was all about Azure Administrator Associate. I hope you liked this video and learned something new from it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask away in the comment section. Our experts will reach out to you soon. Thank you for watching this video. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.